Today we're going to change the oil on a John Deere tractor. This is a D130. This is mine. Real easy job. On this side you'll find you've got your oil drain right here. You want to take the side cover off, which is just one nut. And the clips hold it in on the other side. This is where our oil comes out. So in order to get the oil into our pan, here, doesn't quite fit underneath, so we're gonna pick the front end up just a little bit. And that should allow our oil pan to fit underneath. And there we go. Now, easy peasy. This, you just turn, Ouija it off, and drain. We change the oil every year, so the oil doesn't look too terribly bad in this one. But this is the time of year when you want to get it done. So now we'll wait for that to go. Okay, for the rest of this, we'll get in just a little bit closer. This is the cap we removed to take the oil out. You see it goes right there in quarter turn. Now get this out of the way and we're done on this side. Notice we cleaned it up while we were waiting for the oil to drain. It takes three or four minutes for the oil to drain out. We'll go ahead and put the side cover back on. Now we're going to switch sides. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do our filter. When you do the filter, it's always going to be a little bit messy. So the oil pan we used on the other side, we're going to push the rest of the way under. So that it'll catch whatever drips down from what I'm playing here. Okay, that should do it. Let's go ahead and pull the side cover off here. Oil filter itself, you can do by hand. It's usually not on that tight. But you'll see there's just no avoiding a little bit of oil leaking when you do it. And there you have it. If you can't get it to unscrew by hand, you can take a wrench to it because you're done with this oil filter anyway. that in our pan. Put napkins underneath it to clean up the mess we just made. And throw our new, throw our new oil filter on. We're going with the Fram 4967, which fits like a charm on this. Notice I didn't put it too tight. And there's already a little bit of oil on the seam, so we were safe there. Put our cover back on. Now let's put some oil in it. Okay, before we put the oil in, we'll go ahead and put her back on the ground. That out of the way. Lower the hoop so she doesn't bounce around too much. Let's go ahead and add oil. You want to use 10W30 detergent oil in these motors. If you've got a gigantic budget, you can go ahead and buy the John Deere lawnmower oil. But just about any oil will work. Any 1030 detergent motor oil will work pretty good in it. This motor takes two quarts. because it got a filter. 
you'd put a touch under two quarts if you did not put the filter on. But as we saw a few moments ago, the filter is too easy to not put on. The John Deere Lawn filter cost you about $14. The one that we put on costs a little over $4, including tax and all. I've been doing this for quite a while and I've never seen one of these filters give an engine a problem. I do believe it's the same filter with a different sticker on it. Okay, that's about it. Now we'll check for leaks. You know our fluid level is good. Now you see it shows just a touch high, but keep in mind that our filter hasn't filled up yet. So let's run her and see if she leaks anywhere. anywhere so it looks pretty good oh. let's grab a paper towel now if you look you'll see that the oil will have settled down to the correct spot if you wonder about the tilting the engine up to change the oil if that'll affect the uh... and there we go we're dead on the line there is right at the top of full. Oh, as I was saying, if you're wondering about jacking up the front end affecting how much oil you get out of the motor, there's only about that much behind the oil drain, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Okay, thank you for visiting with us. If you like this, go ahead and subscribe and leave, leave suggestions in the comments.